Ready? Okay. Ah! Hi, Hi there. there. It's weird. It's been a long time that we don't talk to the camera like this. I'm Junior Enrique. I'm Ana Luisa Luis. And we are that Brazilian couple. We are. And so this is Julie, remember her? That's Julie. <laughs> Today we decided to just answer some questions. Yeah, today is really the very first day where both of us don't have to go anywhere. We're like on the edge of finishing the season at the Met, so we have more time to create more content here. Um, we're also starting a brand new project that we're gonna share with you guys very soon. Yes. And we will open a question box on Instagram and we're gonna answer that. And also, I chose specific questions from other platforms that we always are we asked. We keep receiving the same questions. So we're gonna answer some of it. Yes, so let's start. Do you want to be in the movies? I've done some movies, some student films, indie films, and I love to go and do a big feature. Blockbuster. Blockbuster in movie theaters. That's definitely a goal of mine. I'm not gonna say it's a dream because I know I'm gonna achieve it. We are going to achieve it. For sure, it. for sure. And uh, even if we have to make our own film. Well, that's the thing. My answer is yes, for sure. We both auditioning to films, TV, anything, you name it. We had a film we worked on last time together, which is our film. It's right here, if you never watched us acting. So yeah, we both worked in many different projects. Matter of fact, I'm in like three different commercials now, so people always see me in commercials. Oh yeah, that's another message we always get, like from the hotel. Are you hotel, on TV though? Yeah. From the hotel. IHG hotel. IHG hotels. Junior is the very first person that appears in the commercial of, of the hotel. And I look all good and handsome. Yes, you always do. No, not really. <laughs> so a lot of people, they're watching the video, oh, the student, they, they send us yeah, the, the commercial. The commercial. <laughs> At IHG Hotels and Resorts, we're in the business of you. We're getting back. So yeah, we are fortunate to do a lot of work as actors. The goal is to be on TV and films. And hopefully very soon we'll be able to keep going with our personal projects. Yeah. So we can create uh, different films. We, we have plans of creating films, you know, short films or even anything related and post it here on our YouTube. The internet provide us with a lot of ways to be in front of the right people. I like what to, you're saying, I think yeah. I think it's true. And it's a lesson for us in life, you know, because we create our own reality, we right? We create it, yes. Nowadays, the network you're making through videos or through anything, or through social media, it's, it's very effective. One thing I always like to say is, try the door. If the door doesn't open, jump the window. There's always a very way true. to get in. Oh yeah, that's good, I like that. Very good. Next question. All right, next question is... How often does he kitchen dance with you when you're cooking without cameras? Mm, never. Never, because who cooks is Junior. Yes! <laughs> He's a better cook. This is not no, his favorite. No, that's, that's, that's not, not right. I think you cook better. You're making me do baby. more and more cooking because <laughs> you're saying this. This is not you cool. See, I learn how to cook with you. Right. And maybe that's why I always will think you cook better. I really appreciate when you cook. And I lately you have been cooking at all. Me? Yes. I cooked. I cooked yesterday and the day before. When you were outside working and rehearsing, Who I cooked? Who cooked yesterday? You. <laughs> hey. so, when I'm cooking, if he comes and joins me dancing, yes, he does. He actually does more than me. And that makes me be even slower. Right, she does it. That's the thing. If I come in when she's cooking and I start dancing with her, it might go for a little bit, but I can't take her focus away. Yeah. The thing is, he he's so fast that I think about doing something and then he's like, baby's ready. I'm like, what? Already? But when I'm doing it, it takes so long. I'm very fast. And then he's like dancing and all of that. And then I say, oh wait, Julio, the food. <laughs> we hear a lot of comments from a lot of 
our followers, subscribers. Do you guys do this only in front of the camera? We're gonna be lying if we're saying we're not doing this for the cameras. We do that for the cameras, but we feel all the feels. Yeah. We have a good uh, experience every time we do that. Yeah. Even when we turn off the camera, we're like, oh, this is good, this yeah, is good. Yeah, let's do it again. So, <laughs> the kitchen dance that we do is never a plain dance. Oh, let's no, do. it's improv. Yes, this is just like feel good and Whatever it comes, it comes, you know? It's, it's all about having wrong, a good time, yeah. Wrong. Yeah, we, we don't really, really plan the steps. Yeah, how often does he dance with you? Often. Often. How often do I cook? Never. Not often. Not often is different than never. We get this question every single day. Yes. How old are you? By the way, my birthday is coming up. Oh yeah, her birthday is June 6th. She's gonna turn 49. If you wanna just send me a gift for my birthday. Oh yeah, that would be nice. Ask Junior on his DM. He will play. Visit with Junior you. Enrique on, <laughs> on Instagram and I'll tell you guys what, what what's a good way to send her gifts. And I'm gonna be 42 in July. So yeah, 38, 41. That's it. 1981. 1984, Leo, 20, oh. 10. Leo and Gemini. Yes. And the Queen. What's your secret to living happily? There's not just one secret. There Choose are. Choose happiness. Have a dog. Uh, for sure. Oh, I'm telling you, every time I'm down or every time Anna is not feeling that well, this one here brings us back to reality. Being happy means having a happy life right? right i'm very happy with the life i have the real question is am i happy because of the life i have or i choose to, to be have, happy so i have the, the life, life you i have, have. Mm, that's the thing that's a good thing uh because nothing's gonna be perfect but you have to make the best out of it right i think choosing wisely what to focus on in life uh, equals good life. It all starts with choices. Choices. You, you make like, good choice. Maybe you're feeling a little down. You put a good song. You dance. You're gonna change completely the way your body works, the way your mind works. The unhappiness feeling is not something that oh I'm feeling unhappy. It's a lot of things combined together that put you like when you say depression is not one thing that makes you sad or depressed it's a lot of things that build up until that point i mean i'm not no therapist or anything, or anything specialist yeah but i think what i try to do with myself when i feel it oh i'm feeling this i'm feeling that easy example that happens with me when I have cramps, menstrual cramps, I have uh, lower back pain and I'm feeling uncomfortable. And if I choose to be like, just crawl in the couch and feel like that, I'm gonna feel like that for the whole day. Or You're gonna if focus I do, on the pain. Yeah. Or if I do a little step, I've noticed that if I move, if I do yoga or if I take ballet classes, that eases my pain. But when I'm feeling that physical pain, I don't want to do any of that. But in the back of my mind, I know that if I do, I'm going to feel better for the rest of the day. So it takes me 10 minutes to like tell my brain, I know you just want to curl up in bed or in the couch, but when you do that, you're going to feel better. And I make the decision, would I want to feel this pain for the rest of the day or what I want to just switch. When I do that, I always thank myself that I made that decision. And when I don't do that, I always regret it. Yes. Even if you think negatively and you're so used to that, your brain finds it easier to feel that way. So it's easy sometimes to suffer then to choose happiness. So we have to do something, a big change or a big switch in order to, whoa, teach our minds, our brain to focus on whatever you need to. So I feel like to be happy is to choose to be happy. It's a choice. Sometimes it's harder to choose, but it's easy. It's right in front of us. Well, we went very deep on this. 
next question is Okay, living there in America, what do you guys miss most about Brazil? Well, we're just about to go to Brazil in a month. Yes. So good. We're so excited to see you. are coming with. For sure, we're going to bring you guys everywhere we go there. I'm very excited to see your family. I'm very excited to smell Brazil. There's a smell about the food that's cooked there. There's a smell about the trees. There's a, a warmth that I miss a lot here. Yeah. Hearing our language native, language, native language. I miss Brazil. You know what I mean? It's, it's, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but like, it's where we came from. Even though Americans are home, our second home, we love it here. Even though we go there, and we, we miss America a little bit. So what we miss about Brazil, it's Brazil. Yeah, it, it's our memories, I think. Yeah. We miss our memories. I don't know, I feel like every time I go, I reflect of where I was, where I came from, and where I am now. Mm -hmm. And I kind of, I feel good because that's exactly where I want to be. And it, it brings back like, what did I have to do in order to be where I am? You know, like it's very trippy. I see what you mean, it's a reflection. It brings us back to yeah, it's a it puts everything on a weight, like, oh, perspective. what am I doing perspective? But we miss Brazil very much. We love Brazil. It's a, it's a we beautiful love country. Brazil. We love the people from Brazil. We love our family, friends there. And Julie loves Brazil. Julie go with us every year, so like, she's Brazilian too. Would we have Julie if we, if we never left Brazil? No. Julie would never come to our home and she loves oh Brazil God. so much. I, I, we made the best choices ever. <laughs> Do you have children? Well, I'm assuming this was from a newer follower. Follower. Subscriber. Subscriber. Yeah, because if you have been here for a little while, you know that we do not have children. But we've been trying. We've been trying and unfortunately we had a miscarriage last October. But we are good to try again. So this is the video. If you weren't here, because we have a lot of new people here, this is the video what I'm talking about that when we go went through that. My father says, it's funny because my, my dad always make uh, a, com uh, comparison. a comparison, but like a, a metaphor for everything. So it's like, I feel like this is like a, a driving test. If you don't learn about it, if you don't focus on passing the test, you won't pass. And I feel like for us it was like that because it took us a long time to understand and to find out that we wanted to have a kid, right? We've been married for 14 years. This year is gonna be our 15th year. And it took us a long time to say like, hey, yeah, I think we can try. Even though we got pregnant, we wanted, but we were not sure. So I feel like now we really are sure yeah. about having it. Yeah. So now it's like your body's ready. I'm, I'm definitely invested and I, I'm educating myself. Mm -hmm. I know a lot more about the women bodies than before. Yeah, I mean, I had no idea. I didn't know how much women go through until Anna went through that. Because emotionally she was really devastated. I was too. Um, but she was like, I've never seen her like that before. So we both have an appreciation for women for any uh, pregnant ladies or for any moms that had miscarriages because it's really tough and people don't talk too much about it and it's, it's a lot, it takes a toll. But we are ready for what the future is, is bringing to us. So. And we are going to have a baby in the family very My sister soon. is pregnant! <laughs> I'm gonna be an uncle for the second time. Yeah, so there will be babies around and our plan is to get pregnant soon I so think. we can grow the kids I think it's together. the I think it's like a maybe maybe a whole that, vibe you know maybe so, this was meant to be maybe it so. wasn't meant to be that time so, so then maybe we'll have a cousin an older cousin yeah that'd be, <laughs> nice. I think it'd be, awesome. that'd be cute the last question is <laughs> <laughs> do you have plastic on your carpet yes we do there it is some of the videos you guys watched are Carpet's always covered with, I mean, not always, but most of the time it's covered with plastic because our daughter pees everywhere. 
she's sleeping now. right now and she knows she she goes to the movie with that but something about rugs and carpet it's like a magnet for her yeah plus because animals if they did once it, it's like a territory thing i so. think also she likes the texture it's like it was like a grass grass kind of thing yeah we're five years without a car a rug because of Julie, and then when we moved to this apartment, I was like, Anna, I think, we, I think we need a rug because it will look nice here in the living room, and it's good so you know I can hang out, stretch on the floor because we're always on the floor. Yeah, and, and it, like, it looked nice. And then I, I was like thinking for probably a week of of ways like, is there any waterproof rug? <laughs> I I talked so many things, and then at some point though, I was like. Junior, I think we should buy a, a, a plastic and cover the whole thing. And I was like, uh, what? And then Junior is, but then it's gonna be covered, it's not nice. I say, how about if you, you know one of these plastic tables that is clear and see through? And then we did just that. And then we did, but every time we have guests, we take it off. <laughs> and we put diapers. So it's like we have a carpet for the guests. <laughs> Not for ourselves, which doesn't make sense. But you know, we got lazy and then we just leave it. So that's it. I think this is it. <laughs> it's a very relaxed video. I feel like I'm talking to my parents on, on the on the Zoom <laughs> with shorts and it's shirt. It's okay. And... They're all friends. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said before, we have a very special um, project that we're working on. So hopefully, very soon we're gonna share with you guys, and it's gonna be. Awesome. Yes, can't wait to share more. And please, if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. That helps us a lot. Comment in this video, share with everybody you want to share. And we we'll see you next time. See you next time. Stop you probably the saw camera. Urango Tango last video. It's cool. Baby, here. here again, you're, you're taking the focus away. I'm so sorry. I'm focusing on the answer. You focus on the answer. <laughs> he asked Alexa, play, blah blah blah. And then. Oh, she didn't know. Shuffling, blah blah blah. <laughs> Amazon Music. Let's see what's blah blah blah. We cannot leave this music on. Alexa, stop. <laughs> okay. So. Wait, I didn't finish. Stop saying Yay! so. <laughs> Go, do it, babe.